birds are out. They say you gotta go through the storm to appreciate the sun. And if you're from the Sunshine State, well, my heart goes out to you because we got rocked last night with Hurricane Milton. About 6.30, I heard a loud crash outside my window, looked down and just saw that this tree was laying right on the ground. It missed my window by about five feet. So luckily we're all okay, we're all safe and accounted for, but this could have been really bad. As you can see, there's a lot of post-hurricane chaos, but I just wanted to hop on here, uh, check in with you guys, see how everyone is doing. My heart goes out to everyone on the West Coast affected by the storm. It was truly chaotic. And, um, you know, we're all in this together. So if you need help, just drop it in the comments below. We're we'll all work together to see what anyone needs and provide what you can. Uh, but without further ado, let's start with this post-hurricane Milton food forest tour. So we just had a category one pass through. Let's assess the damage. So this is our Moringa tree. Just snapped right off. Jungle cat. Look at this, get. Oh my God, hurricane kitty, get out, get down. Get down from there, please. That's Walterina, Seminole pumpkin. All right, these garden beds, they survived a hurricane one, category one. This one, we, we were putting it together, it was in the middle of a hurricane, but this one survived a hurricane. Wow, a little beauty in the chaos and damage. The passion fruits are still standing. Oh, look at all this harvest of passion fruits. Oh, they got shredded. My goodness. Oh no. It looks like a critter ate it. What kind of an animal eats passion fruits in the middle of a hurricane? I guess they were stress eating, I understand. Lots of green passion fruits are down, so that's not good. Oh, poor, poor papaya. Got lots of standing water. It seems that everything on this side of the house has been protected. A little flooding, nothing too crazy. Gardener's Supply Company, P. Trellis, still standing. That's got to go in the review for them. Okay. Sweet little marigolds. Oh. We lost a lot of Barbados cherries. Okay, another banana. Oh, the winds are howling. Oh no. Oh no, you guys. We lost a banana. I'm still standing. That's what the bananas are saying. The water is draining. That's good because we don't want to flood on top of everything else. So a fascinating thing about banana trees is that they shred their leaves to help withstand winds. That's how they survive high winds trees down in the neighborhood. Oh, these cute little banana trees. Well, at least if we lost any bananas, we can replant them because we got plenty potted ones right there. Oh, not the fig. Oh, fig. I think it'll be fine.
A beautiful peach tree. Another one. Seems to be doing okay. These mangoes definitely got bent out of shape, but they'll be fine. Jungle cat. You survived your first hurricane. How does that feel, bud? How does that feel? You had a, quite an exciting month. I don't think it's anything gonna hold it. Well, we shouldn't prop it up right now. It's still kind of windy. We should have just left it on the fence, no? If I'll push that way, will it... Okay, push it towards me. Hit, will it hit um, cable? Mm, it's not going to hit the cable, no. If it's going to fall that way, no? Oh, yeah, it'll take out the internet. It yeah. might. That's what I have a trade off. Okay, okay, don't, don't, don't you there. Get out of, jungle cat, go, get out of there. <laughs> I startled him. Yeah, I'm so curious what's going on here. Oh, yeah, jungle cat. Oh, my God. Cool. Well, at least this bamboo stick saved it from falling into the sewage. I'm okay. You're I'm okay? Like that. You're okay with it being like that? Yeah. Okay. It'll be fine. Uh, I don't know. If, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, I probably can slide this under. Well, make th it, yeah. Make it not fall in. But for right now well we should leave it like this anyway yes. so that it ripens because otherwise we'll cut it off and then we'll lose all the sugars yes. so we'll just leave it like this for another month or two we'll cut the leaves later this one came down with Helene we already harvested these they're delicious another nanner Got a little bit of flooding here. What happened? It's not like up there. I thought it was last night. Yeah. Yeah, it has. It, last night it was really bad, but it subsided a lot. It has been draining, thankfully. It's just. Everything looks kind of bare right now because all the trees have been snapped in half. But they're tropical trees, so they'll grow back pretty fast, right? And really, we didn't get into our growing season. We have the cucumbers here, but we didn't really have anything else. The soil is just going to be really, you know, moist and saturated. Almost stripped over that broken bamboo. So these are the tips of the bamboo. You can see where they broke off and they just fly right off. It actually didn't flood that bad. A lot of trees went down. Ah! Well, yeah, that that's still standing. Mm -hmm. Oh, the mango. Uh, it's okay. I think if I put some support when it stops raining, I think it'll be fine. It'll come back. We gotta yeah, do. Mango is a swamp tree. It is. It is. It is. This got carried all from all the way over there, but the strawberry towers are still standing. Surprisingly, these bananas, check them out, still standing. The papaya is a little bent. Our turmerics are ginger. <gasps> Not the pineapple. Oh, not, oh, the pineapple's fine. The pineapple's fine, everybody. The pineapple is fine. Okay. Lufa squash. The lufa squash was growing from that trellis and then it latched on to the mulberry and then the mulberry took it down. What a shame. We have another casualty here. Little mandarin tree. Oh, I hope we can save you. Poor guy.
blueberries are fine. Peach tree is fine. Ugh. But this, this is probably the saddest thing right here, is the mulberry tree. So many memories under that mulberry tree. If you remember from my tour video from like three months ago, I was standing right under this mulberry tree. It's, it was 24 year old mulberry tree that my parents planted. My dad passed away last year and now the tree's gone too. So let's not make this a sad girl video. As gardeners and farmers, we understand that loss is a natural order of things. You start your seeds, you harvest your fruits, and then you make compost. But knowing that does not make grief any easier. It just becomes a part of you. And I think it's the duty of the living to continue the memory of those who have passed on. And of course, we're also reminded of the resurrection every spring and that things do come back just in a different way. Just as this tree will get a new life as a host for lion's mane and oyster mushrooms, the branches will make beautiful mulch and the leaves will make beautiful compost that feeds the soil. And we might even snip some of these still viable branches and propagate them. You can do that with plants. Unfortunately, you can't do that with pets or people. You can't just have good times forever. You got to have loss to have the resurrection. You need to have the bad times to appreciate the good and you have to go through the storm to appreciate the sunshine. Sorry this video was such a bummer you guys. Uh, I promise you my next one is going to be hilarious. Hope everyone's okay and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.